cuts, I will now count and clap for sync. So one, two... It's a hastily arranged press conference. Wooden benches for the media and a setting that would better fit a kid's gym. So what's going on? Well, early in the day, Rishi Sunak released a video claiming that immigration is down by 20%. My policy on immigration is simple. It is this country that should decide who comes here, not criminal gangs. This morning, I've been out in the channel with our new small boats operational command. We've got organised criminals risking people's lives in makeshift dinghies. Gangs trying to use Excuse me for talking over this bit, but the music here is getting a bit ridiculous. It has a powerful bold edge, as if to create a sense that Rishi is taking the necessary steps to beat immigration. But look at him, look at how pathetic this guy is. He's totally out of his depth. And now the music becomes almost overbearing. We're a compassionate country, and we are still helping people who actually need to come here. Stopping the boats won't change that. But the current situation is not fair and it is not sustainable. We must stop the boats and you can trust me to get it done. OK, so remember 20%. It's down 20%. Well, here's Rishi to explain further. This morning I've been out in the channel with our new small boats operational command. And the whole experience just reinforces how tragic, morally wrong and profoundly unfair this situation is. Actually, he says very little new here. So let's skip ahead to where he asks the press for questions. But remember... Our approach is working. For the first time, crossings are down by 20%. Thank you. If we... Uh take some questions from the media next and go to uh, Channel 5. Thanks, Prime Minister. Andy Bell, 5 News. Um, do you actually have any evidence that it is your policies uh, of deterrence that are leading to this drop and not something like bad weather, for instance, that there's been actually reducing the number of people crossing? Well, thanks, Andy. I think that there are, there are two things I'd point to. One is the fact that crossings elsewhere in Europe are up. Hang on, the weather? Could the weather mean less people are crossing the channel? Hmm, that's interesting. Of course, Rishi doesn't answer. OK, maybe someone else will ask the question again. ITV Meridian. We've got local ITV. And can I also say, it's been exceptionally windy in the channel for several days now, meaning there have been hardly any um, small boat crossings. Is that why you've chosen to come here today? So, uh, Abby, uh, th thanks. On, um, you know, uh, problem. Um, and in terms of the timing of my visit, uh, there's many things I can control. The weather is not one of them. So, <laughs> uh, I wish it was so. Um, right. Uh, but actually, I think this is second, at least the second, if not third time I've, I've, I've been here. So, three of Rishi's priorities now seem to be guided by matters that will happen naturally anyway. Inflation is set to drop without government intervention. Waiting lists at the NHS usually go down during the summer. And now Rishi is taking credit for the wind discouraging migrants from crossing the channel. Finally, on that same day, Yvette Cooper bangs some more nails into Braverman's coffin and the whole sorry stop the boat slogan, I meant campaign. The house. So Secretary of State, Yvette Cooper. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker, for your response and thank the Home Secretary for her apology. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister flew to Dover today to congratulate himself and to tell us that his plan is working, <laughs> even though the asylum backlog he promised to clear is at a record high. Decisions are down, case workers have dropped, hotel use is up, returns are still down. Only 1% of last year's small boat cases have been processed and 7,500 people arrived on dangerous small boats in the last few months yeah, alone. Yeah. The massive gap between the Tories' rhetoric and reality shows the Home Secretary still has no grip on the system That's and right. this Conservative That's chaos right. is letting everyone down. Yeah, yeah, the Prime yeah, Minister yeah. claims today he is stopping the boats, but the 7,600 people who've arrived in the last few months alone is three times higher than two years ago and eight times higher than before the pandemic. 
All of us hope the limited reduction in the winter months compared to last year will be sustained when the weather improves, but criminal gangs have already made an estimated £30 million in the last few months alone from putting lives at risk and undermining our border security as a result of the Conservative failures to go after the gangs yeah, and maintain yeah. that border security. The Home Secretary boasted about an increase in enforcement, but compared to the COVID period, compared to before the pandemic, enforcement visits are down 22% yeah, and yeah. arrests are down 17%. Yeah. This is not yeah, an achievement. Not the Home Secretary also it's says that she's cut the backlog, but the backlog is up at a record high, 170,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has gone up not down since December. There's been an 18% drop in asylum decisions in the last quarter, and it's no good complaining that no good claiming that they are only clearing a so-called legacy backlog legacy? of cases from before June for last year. What about the growing backlog yeah. of 60,000 people and more who've arrived in the last 12 yeah, months? Yeah, They're yeah. still in the asylum the system, yeah. still in hotels, still in limbo. A backlog is a backlog, exactly. no matter how yeah. much they try exactly. to spin it away. Yeah, the only yeah, legacy yeah. we are talking about spin, is the legacy spin, spin. of Tory failure yeah, to tackle yeah, yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, all the Home Secretary has managed to do is take a few decisions on cases that are more than a year old. Yeah. That is not an achievement. Yeah. That is her job. Yeah. Yeah, the Prime yeah, Minister yeah, and yeah. Home Secretary promised to end hotel use, but it has gone up to 47,000 people higher than the 40,000 the Home Secretary told us about in December. The Prime Minister also said in December he'd, ident he'd already got locations for accommodating 10,000 more people, but now the Home Secretary says it's only 3,000 from the end of this year. And what she hasn't admitted is this isn't instead of hotels, it is additional yeah, yeah, because yeah. of their failure yeah. and the consequence of their new immigration bill, the bigger backlog bill, yeah, which yeah, is just yeah, going yeah. to make the backlog worse. Yeah, because today's yeah. press release reveals the truth. It says that this accommod these accommodation changes could, quote, could reduce the need to source an additional 90 hotels. An additional 90 hotels. Why are they in such a mess? They need to be thinking about sourcing an additional 90 hotels. Why have they so totally lost any grip that the backlog and costs are getting worse and worse? Yeah. On returns too, and forced returns are actually lower than pre-pandemic, and mm -hmm. of the 24,000 people the government has now tried to return to safe countries they've travelled through, only 23 people have actually been returned. And even for Albania, where there is a return agreement, 12,000 people arrived on small boats last year, but less than 1% of those cases have been decided and barely a few hundred people have been returned. As for Rwanda, as my honourable friend has said, the government has actually sent more home secretaries than asylum seekers <laughs> and no one expects those numbers to be high. The taxpayer is already footing the bill for Conservative failure. Now we hear reports. The new legislation will cost £6 billion. Shocking. Is that true? Shocking. Yes or no? The Home, Secretary, the Home Office has already had to claim £2.4 billion extra from the Treasury Reserve. How much more will they claim this year? The Times reports illegal immigration will have to fall below 10,000 a year if the new legislation can, is even possible to be implemented because the Home Office says that ministers' plans are, they quote, based on demented assumptions. Yeah, so yeah. can she tell us whether the demented assumptions are hers? or the yeah. Prime Minister's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time and again, the government's voted against Labour proposals to help stop dangerous crossings, yeah. voted against action to go yeah, after the, the criminal gangs, yeah, voted against the cross-border yeah, police unit, voted one. against yeah. fast-track decisions for safe countries, and voted against new return agreements and legal routes yeah. with yeah. Europe. Yeah. People want to see a strong border yeah. security yeah. and properly yeah. controlled and managed yeah. asylum system so our country does our bit alongside others to help those fleeing persecution and conflict. Under the Tories, we have neither, because yeah. the gangs have been let, allowed to go oh. rip across the borders and the asylum system is in chaos. All we get is rhetoric. Rhetoric, while the reality gets worse, demented assumptions, unworkable plans, empty spin. Instead of all the press conferences, we need a proper plan. The asylum system is broken. They broke it, and there is still no plan today to sort it out. Yeah. Home Secretary. Mr. Speaker, I thank the Right Honourable Lady again for her extensive... Click here for more Five Priorities.